1977 is full of a plethora of movies I've never seen and don't care to see. Someone needs to do a thesis on the technology gap for cinema because the production quality on movies obviously does not age well, understandably so because of the technology has improved tenfold, which is good for those of us in the present. But seriously, what's the gap? I feel like beyond 30, 40 years, movies start to become unwatchable minus the gems. 1977 brought the first ever Star Wars film to the big screen. This would be the start of a very interesting relationship that has developed to be what it is today. But also in 77 was a different film, a horror film, The Car. Evil has visited the earth in many forms. Now it returns as The Car. The car even is hilariously referenced in some modern day animation. Oh no, there's no exhaust pipe. That's right. Thanks to Ed Begley Jr.'s electric motor, the most evil propulsion system ever conceived. In this day and age, the car is a movie you watch once, but end up watching again for some reason. The car is not very scary, it's far too old to be, but that doesn't diminish the value of the movie. If anything, it gives the movie a second life and increases its shelf by becoming a comedy. I mean, look at this. Hello Wade, it's me baby. No, I'm home. Uh, Chaz went over to his place, he said he'd be back in a few minutes. Uh, wait, uh, no, I'm alright. I'm alright, listen to me, listen to me. As I was coming up to the house, that crazy wind came up. I, it almost blew me off my feet. I, Wade, I, I, I think I hear the engine of that damn car. Wade, it uh, sounds so weird. Wait, I'm scared. No, I promise you I won't go out. Tell me what to do, baby. I, 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 This isn't scary, this is hilarious. The car might have scared some in theaters then, but it's not going to scare you in your home. However, the car is a respectable movie. The fact that Futurama, Regular Show, and American Dad all did a parody of this episode is just some well-deserved flattery and proof that this movie, good or bad, stuck with people. At least watch the car to really understand the hilarity of the parodies and future parodies of it. Hilariously, there is also a sequel to this cult classic movie, but I was informed by my biggest fan to leave this varnished turd out of the review. It's on Netflix in case you want to waste your time, and it has an amazing rating of 25% on Rotten Tomatoes, so you know it has to be a masterpiece. As for the original, it doesn't fare much better, with only a rating of 28% on Rotten, but it does have a 6.2 on IMDb, so it at least lets you know that it's watchable. The car isn't a movie I regret watching. When I'm flexing my film buff muscles, it's a nice one to keep in your back pocket, as it shows that you either have a rich movie watching background, or you know someone who's pretty invested in the industry. For me personally, it's both. And while more of a comedy than an actual horror film by today's standards, it's pretty good. 8 out of 10 on the official Black Man's Log scale. But you're not really here for the review, you're just here for the car. Nymphomaniac. We're gonna go to the Amazon Basin together and water ski. Woo! I think I can handle it. I'm ready. Hi. My name's Johnny Norris. What's yours? Help yours with a splintered fiddle, you son of a bitch! Bye, bird. What evil 
brutal force drives the car.